Alivium is a blockchain platform that aims to address key challenges in scalability, security and sustainability within the cryptocurrency ecosystem. It introduces several innovative features and approaches to enhance the functionality and efficiency of blockchain technology. Now, Elevium is built on a novel sharding algorithm called Blockflow, and it leverages a stateful UTXO model and DAG data structure to deliver efficient and practical sharding. Now, this enables Elevium to natively support over 10,000 transactions per second while preserving a seamless single-chain user experience. Now, in this video, we're going to do a deep dive of Elevium. Now, you're probably here because you want to know if this project can do a 100x, right? Well, then stick around till the end of this video because we will be going into that. But first, let me start with the basics because the core objectives of Alivium revolve around addressing the scalability, security and sustainability challenges faced by traditional blockchain platforms. Alivium aims to provide a foundation for building decentralized applications, so dApps, and managing digital assets efficiently. Alivium uses a unique sharding solution to improve the scalability of its network by dividing the blockchain into smaller, more manageable segments, which are called shards. Alivium can process transactions in parallel, increasing the overall throughput and efficiency of the network. Now, security in Alivium is enhanced through its stateful UTXO, so unspent transaction output model, and a sophisticated smart contract system. Now, these features aim to provide a secure and reliable environment for transactions and app development. Now, Alivium enhances developer experience and security with its virtual machine, SDK, and performance optimized programming language. Now, its malware design and built in security measures eliminate common attack vectors such as re entrancy and text, unlimited authorization, and flash loans. Now, Alivium allows developers to focus on what matters and pioneers entirely new possibilities for smart contracts, dApps, and tokens. And the stateful UTXO model is an enhancement of the traditional UTXO model used in blockchain systems like Bitcoin. In a conventional UTXO model, the blockchain keeps track of unspent outputs from transactions, which can then be used as inputs for new transactions. And this model is known for its simplicity and security in tracking ownership of assets. Alivium's stateful UTXO model extends this by integrating smart contract functionality directly into the UTXO model, enabling it not only to manage transactions but also store and execute complex smart contract logic. Now, this approach combines the benefits of the UTXO model with the added functionality of smart contracts, allowing for more complex and stateful operations on the blockchain. And for sustainability, the project prioritizes this through its proof of less work consensus mechanism, which is designed to minimize the energy consumption of mining operations. And this environmentally friendly approach aims to reduce the carbon footprint of the blockchain, making it a more sustainable choice in the crypto space. Right, let's have a look at the business business model of Alivium. Now, Alivium's business model revolves around its native cryptocurrency ELF, so A-L-P-H. And the tokenomics are designed with a fixed supply cap, with tokens allocated for various purposes, including mining rewards, community and ecosystem development, and team incentives. Now, the scarcity and utility of the ELF tokens within the ecosystem drive their value and demand. The project uses a unique proof of less work consensus mechanism that reduces energy consumption while securing the network. Miners are rewarded with ELF tokens for validating transactions and maintaining the blockchain, creating a sustainable incentive model. Now, for developing and deploying dApps, Alivium offers a platform. The stateful UTXO model and smart contract functionality provide a robust infrastructure for developers, potentially generating revenue through transaction fees, smart contract deployments, and other services within the ecosystem. Transaction fees, smart contract execution fees, and other network services charges form an essential part of the revenue model. And these fees are all paid in the ELF tokens, maintaining the circulation and utility of the token within the ecosystem. Now, Alivium places a strong emphasis on community involvement and ecosystem growth. Part of its token allocation is dedicated to fostering community development and incentivizing participation, which in turn can stimulate network growth and adoption. And before we move on to the next part of this video, I want to remind you all that I'm not a registered financial advisor, okay? My videos are meant to be educational and entertaining only. Always make sure to do your own research and only to invest money you're willing to lose, because 
even though you can gain a lot in crypto, you will most likely lose it all. Now, let's say in the event that you do become filthy rich, it's very important that you safeguard your crypto. And the best way to do this is by using a hardware wallet. Now, my personal choice of hardware wallet is Tangent because it's very convenient. All you need is your phone and the card to be able to utilize the hardware wallet. Now, I've made a dedicated review about it, which I'll link down below for you to check it out. Now, and if you want to buy this hardware wallet, be sure to use my coupon code because that will give you 10% off and that just saves you some money, okay? So let's move on to the video. Alivium offers various wallet options for managing the native ELF tokens and other assets on its blockchain. Now these wallets cater to different user needs ranging from daily transactions to deployment and to development and mining activities. Now first up, the desktop wallet. The Alivium desktop wallet is designed to be user friendly, providing a secure and convenient way for users to manage their digital assets. It supports basic functionalities like storing, sending and receiving ELF tokens and other digital assets. Now the wallet has a straightforward interface, making it accessible to users with varying levels of blockchain experience. Security and privacy considerations are addressed with the desktop wallet allowing for local node connections and offline wallet creation to enhance these aspects. Alivium's extension wallet is built for browser integration, facilitating seamless interaction between users and decentralized applications on the Alivium network that is. Now this wallet type is particularly useful for those who frequently interact with dApps as it allows for easy signing of transactions and smart contract interactions directly from the web browser. Now the extension wallet does plays a pivotal role in the Alivium ecosystem, especially for users looking for convenient dApp access and transaction processing. Now besides a desktop and an extension wallet, Alivium also offers a mobile wallet which can be downloaded for Android and iOS. And this means that they have platforms for every user which which makes it very accessible to use. So we've covered the project and now know what it entails, but how will it perform for you? Well, many factors depend on that, but I've decided to paint you a bullish and a bearish scenario that will help you become more informed. First up, the bearish scenario, because I always like to end with a good note. In a bearish scenario, Alivium might struggle to differentiate itself in the crowded blockchain space. If the project fails to secure meaningful partnerships or if its technology encounters significant issues, it could lose ground to more established or innovative competitors. Now, delays in development or failure to meet roadmap milestones could erode community trust and investor confidence. So it's important to research previous milestones and to find out whether or not they were able to meet the deadlines because that will give you a clear indication on the growth and development of this project as well. In a challenging market environment with possible regulatory crackdowns on cryptocurrencies or a significant downturn in the broader crypto market, Alivium could face reduced investment and support. Now these factors could lead to a decrease in the price of ELF tokens and a contraction of the project's growth potential. But in a bullish scenario, Alivium's unique features like its stateful UTXO model and proof of less work consensus mechanism could lead to significant growth. Now the project's focus on scalability, security and sustainability addresses key issues in the blockchain space, attracting developers, investors and users. Now if Alivium successfully markets its advantages and builds a strong community, it could become a preferred platform for dApps, leading to increased demand for ELF tokens. Let us know how strong the Alivium community is by leaving a comment down below. Now please know, this video is not sponsored. I don't hold any Alivium at the time of this recording. I might do so in the future, I can't guarantee it. But for transparency purposes, I thought I'd share this with you. So if Alivium establishes partnerships with significant industry players and integrates with popular ecosystems, it could gain substantial market share. Now positive regulatory developments in key markets could further enhance its position. In this scenario, the price of ELF would likely rise substantially, reflecting the growing adoption and utility of the Alivium blockchain. Now, before we conclude this video, I want to give you something extra, which is bubblemaps.io. You can use this site to check out the wallet distribution of projects. Now, if we look at Alivium, then we see the top four wallets having more than 1% and everybody else is having less than 1%. And the bubbles that you see showcase the number of wallets and you want to see as much bubbles as possible. In this case, we see a couple of fairly similar sized wallets. You can check those wallets on Etherscan and then see how much Elevium and or other tokens they hold. This can help you identify whales and wallets you could track to see what will happen to Elevium in its price. Let us know down below where you use bubblemaps.io for and what other tools you use in your crypto journey. All right, so in conclusion, Elevium presents an innovative approach to blockchain technology, focusing on energy efficient, robust token economics and user-friendly interfaces for engaging with 
with the blockchain ecosystem. Alivium's business model is built on creating a scalable, secure and sustainable blockchain that caters to the needs of both developers and end users with the ELF token underpinning economic activities within the network. Now, the integration of statefulness into the UTXO model by Alivium is an innovative step that aims to combine the reliability and efficiency of UTXOs with the versatility of smart contracts, facilitating a more robust and flexible blockchain ecosystem. Alivium's business model is multifaceted, combining elements of traditional cryptocurrency economics with innovative blockchain functionalities. The model is designed to sustainably support the network's growth, security and user engagement with the ELF token playing a central role in the ecosystem's economic activities. Now, Finally, the narrative surrounding Alivium, focusing on innovation in blockchain scalability and efficiency, plays a crucial role in both the bullish and bearish scenarios. In the bullish case, the narrative drives adoption and investment, while in the bearish case, it might not be enough to overcome external challenges and internal setbacks. That's it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Doei!